Who wants to see what all this hype is about with this new BRZ? I know I do. What are you talking about? <laughs> Woo! The brakes down to the throttle input, suspension. Body lines on this new BRZ are phenomenal. From the styling of the headlights to the front bumper, air intake, front grille to the rear quarters. I love the flare, the natural flare that this BRZ has. And I like the taillights as well. I like how the taillights have become part of the body line. I love that feature, along with the little duck bill trunk wing as well. So Subaru did away with the 2.0. This is the 2.4 boxer motor. They added a little oil cooler for all you track guys out there. 18 inch wheels wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport. Add this new front fender with working aero to cool the front brakes. This new BRZ is gonna be a weapon on your next track day. 228 horsepower, 184 foot pounds of torque. That's 15% up from last year's car. Let's see what this is all about. Woo! Gets a little happy. It likes to get a little sideways on you, but it's very controllable. step out easily controlled and when it does push it comes back with a little patience it has great weight transfer and you can really feel that 15% increase in torque is pretty dialed straight from the factory I haven't touched it I think I checked the oil and the tire pressures I brought it out to my local uh, mountain did some turns and the car is just superb in the turns it has great power out of the turns six-speed manual gearbox listens to everything I ask from it as long as I'm patient under braking and get the front tires a grip like right there I had to kind of trail brake it in because it did want to push this is definitely a driver's car everything about this car just wants you to just rip on it I mean down to the brakes down to the throttle input suspension they added some cooling to the brakes, so that'll help out a lot for all you track guys out there. A lot of these turns, I'm leaving it in a taller gear, actually in third, and I'm coming out of the turn, and I'm just rolling on the throttle, and the car is really accepting it, and the torque is just phenomenal. From the braking, to the steering input, to the throttle inputs. This car just has it all. It's very well balanced. The power to weight ratio, it's very nimble. And it rewards the driver for driving smooth. This new BRZ 
chassis, 50% more stiffer than the previous generation. And boy, can you tell. This car feels like a nice pair of dancing shoes that just fits perfectly to my foot. Use all of that curve. Woo! Using all the brakes on that one. It's only in this tight stuff that I gotta downshift in a second. And it's just for a short period of time. Because third gear works fine. It brings plenty of torque to get out of these turns and through this little windy section here. Here it gets a little tighter. Road's a little wet, so I'm gonna see what the car wants to do there. It wants to slide out a little bit, easily controlled though. Well, now I know what all the hype's about, and I 100% back it. This car rips. I never thought that I would actually want another rear wheel drive car, but after driving this, this is the perfect little daily to go track and also out on a date with. Beautiful car, great job Subaru. Hats off to you. Now can we get one of these in all wheel drive with a turbo, please? This limited edition BRZ comes with red stitched ultra suede seats. This ultra suede is a nice little touch. Subaru killed it on the interior. From the ultra suede seats to the very simple and highly functional interior, gauges, the steering wheel, the feel of the overall car is insane. into a long right-hander feel that torque third gear I didn't even downshift it's beautiful balanced even when you send it in too hard and it starts to push with a little patience it comes back and the same goes for when you come in and you turn in and it actually reacts to your input and the car starts to oversteer then you just be a little patient with the throttle and it comes back to you it's just so well balanced the car just asks for you to drive it hard Having this car for the last few days, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda want a drift car now. I drifted twice. I did it once in Ken Gushi's 86, and uh, I did it again in Utah in a Lexus IS300, underpowered on a wet skid pad, 
just kind of doing figure eight. So actually, I would really like to get into drifting. And I feel like this car would be a perfect car to get into with. I honestly feel with some tires and a good steering angle kit that this car is quite capable of a whole lot of fun. What do you guys think? Think I should become a drifty boy? Give me a BRZ, do a little steering angle kit, throw some Yokohama ad bands on there. Oh yeah, I think that needs to happen. Subaru has not only done a great job on the styling on this new 2022 BRZ, they've done a tremendously great job in performance. With the 15% increase in torque, the 50% stiffer chassis, and an overall lower center gravity, this new BRZ is definitely a driver's car. Was fun this new Subaru BRZ is the perfect car for you spirited drivers out there with trackside tendencies not to mention it looks great